I don't want to be like this. It's, it's okay, Michael. You just lost someone you love. No, I need to keep it together. I need to be strong. I, I, I think it's better that you let it out. Because if you keep it bottled up, it's just going to eat away at you. Gracious greetings to the newlyweds. I hope I'm not interrupt. What happened? Was there a break-in or a confrontation of sorts? Uh, no, it was, uh, it was me. Well, that's most unexpected. It just it keeps... It just keeps happening, you know? I get all this anger and I'm trying to shut it down. It just keeps getting worse. See, I, I don't know what's happening to me. You know, stuff like this happened all the time after my accident. Just I had I had no control, and when I when I got mad, I acted out. It's actually how I met Sonny. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was the first night I was at the hospital. It was at Luke's old club, and AJ dragged me along, and and I, I just completely lost it. I started I started yelling, and I flipped a table, and you know everybody was quiet, looked at me like I was some kind of freak. I was outside, and that's when Sonny came out and gave me, gave me money for a cab to get home. I was very generous. He wasn't afraid of me. You know, he didn't act like getting mad was proof that I was brain damaged. He said he got angry like that all the time. I always assumed that Mr. Sir was the more volatile of you two, but, I mean, it, it, it explains why he showed you such acceptance. See, but getting emotional, you make mistakes, and you make mistakes, you get killed, so... It's like I, I had to—I had to train myself to totally shut down. It just doesn't work anymore. You know, I can't—I can't detach. I—I I, can't—I can't even think. Oh, Stone Cold, you seem—you seem pretty rational. Yeah, but how long was I staring at that, that symbol Franco painted? I mean, how easy was that? It was a circle. What? Go back to the beginning. Look, look the Jacko. I mean. Yes, I'm by no means an experienced cryptographer, but I couldn't decipher it either. Yeah, but that wasn't for you to figure out, Spinelli. It was for me to figure out, and by the time I did, the mayor was in my face. I know the guy's not a threat. He loves to hear himself talk. Why did I jump him? Do you remember the moment? Do you remember what led you to the violence? Yeah, he said he was going to run a story on Franco, and, and I wanted to shut him up, and I didn't think, and I grabbed him. And the same thing happened to the PCPD. He said he was going to run a story on Michael. I wanted to shut him up. I grabbed him, and I slammed him on a table. Yeah, that perhaps was inadvisable. It was stupid. I got myself locked up. I left Sam all alone. I almost left her unprotected again. I should be able to keep it together. Why? Because you're a man? You are allowed to be upset. You're human, Michael. You just lost the person who is closest to you. You're allowed to feel. I mean, grieve. Get angry. I am angry! At myself! It's my fault Abby's dead. You gotta stop talking like that. But why? 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 It's not the first time I'm responsible for somebody else's death. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? If you're talking about what happened with Claudia, this is completely different. What happened with, with Abby? I had... hurt people. That's what I do. I kill my stepmother, and now I kill the one person, the only person in my life who understood me and accepted me for who I am. You were purposely hurt, Abby. You were only trying to protect her. Anybody who gets close to me gets hurt or killed. I'm just like my father. No, you are nothing like your father. You are your own person, Michael, and you're grieving a terrible loss. Things happen. I mean, this is life. Bad things happen all the time. You've got to stop looking for a pattern or people to blame, especially yourself. I gotta get the phone number of Abby's family. They need to know what happened, what I did. Stone Cold has often hated me when I've been hopelessly confused. Maybe I can do the same for you. I don't know what you can do. Well, perhaps we should retrace your steps, as it were, you know? What's the first time you remember significantly losing control? It's Hawaii. Okay. Before or after Franco made his appearance? It was after. And the other incidents, are they likewise connected to Franco? Yeah. 
then it would seem that Franco's the trigger, although there's a flaw in that hypothesis because, I mean, despite any emotional trauma you suffered from previous skirmishes, you were able to shut down, as you put it? I know, but that's, that's the, uh... I mean, that's a strange thing because I, I never minded being shot at or, or having my life on the line because in those situations, everything became very simple and clear to me and I, I didn't have to think about it. I knew exactly what to do. Just, I didn't... I didn't realize that I could lose that. I don't know. I just I get so uh, so confused, and every mistake I make hurts somebody I love. It's as if a superhero who is grounded. What? What? A superhero who has the power to fly. He, for whatever reason, he loses that, right? And and. But yet he still expects it of himself. He, he knows he can fly, he wants to fly, but for whatever reason, he remains grounded. I know, I know you're trying to help, but I, I really don't know anything about superheroes. Your, your power, know. as you describe it, is to detach, but for whatever reason, it is failing you in this encounter. So we need to figure out why, why this encounter is different from the others. I don't know. Perhaps your opponent has, has Found ways to exploit your weaknesses, push your buttons? Or maybe it's the simple yet powerful bond of matrimony which has left you more vulnerable. I mean, after all, it was on your honeymoon that Just you... Just stop with the honeymoon, okay? Deepest apology. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to unload like this on you. Isn't that a linchpin of friendship? We have the mutual trust which enables us to confide, forgive. You're, um, you're a good friend to me, Spinelli. And I trust you. I just, uh, can't trust myself. Miss Haver? Um, hi, uh, my name is Michael Corinthos. I'm... I was your, your daughter's friend. Oh, I'm not her friend. I, uh, I was in love with her. Uh, look, there was an accident. And Abby, she didn't make it. She's gone. Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's dead. Uh, I, I, I'm so, so sorry. No, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't expect you to, to I, don't, I don't want any money, I'm just, I'm just letting you. Okay, don't worry, I won't bother you again. How'd it go? I knew Abby and her mom weren't close. Turns out they haven't talked in years. She said she's not surprised that Abby died. Had come to no good, those were her exact words. <sighs> she thought I, I, I was calling to get money for the funeral. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry, that's awful. <sighs> so not to even try to contact her father, so the guy took off before she was born. Hey, don't, don't worry, though, we'll take care of everything. Abby's gonna know that she was loved. But how can a mother not care about her own child like that? How, how, how could she not love her? Who cares who the father is? You can't... Hey. Hi. I didn't think you were going to be home. I was just going to leave you a message. How'd you get out? Yeah, Alexis was able to get the charges dropped. How's Abby? She's gone, Jason. They weren't able to save her. How, how's Michael? Well, he's blaming himself, and he won't listen to me when I say that it's not his fault. He didn't even get to say goodbye. We tried so hard to get here in time. We were just too late. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a flight out tonight. You know, you know, somebody, somebody's here. I gotta go. I love you. I love you, too. I 
I know it's late. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come on in. What's, what's going on? Uh, Robin said that she saw you at the jail, and she's worried. Quite frankly, I am too. I'm fine. Well, you have missed your uh, checkup after surgery, and you haven't rescheduled. I've been busy. Yeah, I know. I know you, well, you just got back from the honeymoon, but still, it's not something you should skip, Jason. Really, it's important. And now, um, this jail thing. It, it was nothing. The charges were dropped. Well, that's a relief. Did you do all this? Because, Jason, I mean, these bouts of anger that you've had lately, it's just not you. Did you just leave her alone? I just talked to Jason. He's out of lockup, and he's going to get here as quick as he can. No, he doesn't have to. He wants to be with you, Michael. I have people lined up to help me. Babby's own mother doesn't care that she died. I don't know. I kind of don't think it's fair of us to judge Abby's mother right now. We don't know the circumstances she was going through when Abby was born. And if her father is this terrible person... That is still no excuse to turn your back on your kid. It's crazy to me. I mean, my mom and my dad used to fight all the time, and hell, sometimes they, they hated each other. But my mom would never turn her back on one of her kids. I just don't understand people like that, I guess. You okay? I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something, and it's not fair because this is about you. This isn't about me. Oh, hey, Abby was your friend, too. I mean, you're probably dealing with your own pain. Really, Sam, it's okay. I unloaded on you. You can unload on me. Sam, it's okay. I know that you're under a lot of pressure, but... And I also know that I don't carry a lot of weight as a mother, but... But as a doctor, Jason, I've got to really insist that you go for that checkup. It is so important. Look, I, uh... I have the name of a specialist. He's already talked to Patrick about your case. Would you please... Please give him a call. I'm so sorry. It's just... Give me a minute, please. Look, this isn't just about Abby, is it? There's something else going on. No, it is about Abby. It's about Abby and all of her girlfriends and everything that they went through with that guy having to jump them. I wanted to help them because I could not help myself. Who was it? Sam, tell me what hurt you. When I was in Hawaii with Jason, it It was Franco. He raped me.